Hey y'all. Okay. So a couple of days ago, it's mid-December. A couple of days ago, it was 80 degrees here, here in Texas, zone 8A. Crazy, right? Okay. And then last night we did have a freeze, a light freeze, just got down to about 32. And so I wanted to show you guys the difference a 50 degree drop would make <laughs> in my garden. I want to show you some of the plants who are now done for the season after having that light freeze. And then I have a couple of projects to do, such as planting some peony roots. I'm a little bit behind, but still going to go ahead and get them into the garden. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when my latest videos are up. And as always, go over and check me out on TikTok. Okay, so garden's looking pretty good. I did lose, um, some of my stock isn't looking good and I think it's my fault for not getting it watered well enough before the freeze came in. I will say my Diamond Frost Euphorbia survived just fine, which is exciting and surprising <laughs> as well. Over here, the zinnias that were just bright and beautiful two days ago are done and gone. Um, basil is gone now. These were some other herbs that were here. They are gone um, as well. The It looks like the mums are ready to be cut back, but of course they survived the freeze, no problem. These are dahlias and they were actually looking really good two days ago. I still had blooms coming, but they are all definitely done as well. I'll be doing another video where I'll be cutting all that to the ground. The lantana, the freeze got it as well, so it is done. Here's two types of lantana. Both of those are done. And then back over here is coleus. Um, so the coleus, is, oh, actually this one is basil. All right, here, basil's all done. Coleus is over there. It's all done. Uh, so yeah, I mean, lost a lot of plants. Gomfrina done um, over there. But I mean, all of that was expected. Straw flower is still looking beautiful. Um, all of my seedlings that I planted over here, these are all hardy annuals. They're all looking really good. I didn't even cover them. It wasn't a low enough or a long enough freeze to warrant that. So I didn't even stress about it. Uh, so I still have to need to plant up this area over here. I'm probably gonna put some lily bulbs back here for some height in the back. And then, I don't know, I'll probably plant this up starting in like February with some um, early cut flowers. Yeah, but um, pretty much that was it. Just took out a lot of the dahlias, a lot of the stuff that doesn't do well with cool weather. And all these dahlias are out too. But yeah, everything else is looking pretty nice. Let's go look at the backyard. I did want to take a moment to show you guys. This is my um, Red Falls Ruby, oh, let's see, let's see. Ruby Falls Redbud, that's what it is. And it is a weeping variety of ornamental tree. And I love its winter structure. Isn't it just beautiful with these beautiful weeping limbs? Gorgeous. It looks great the rest of the year, but I especially like it during the winter. Okay, so the back was definitely more protected. I'm shocked at all the celosia seed that has come back and is doing good. Um, it did take out the rest of the celosia and amaranthus that I had here. So all that is done and ready to come out. Snapdragons are still doing really well. Remember they are hardy annual. Today I'm gonna be working on this bed. I'm actually gonna pull out all of my Brussels sprouts. They have been struggling with cabbage worms and I just, y'all, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna deal with it cabbage worms have come over here to all this beautiful red mustard that I was growing. So y'all know me. I don't want to battle pests unless it's absolutely going to be worth it. And for me, it's not worth it on these. So I'm going to pull these up and I'm going to end up putting my peony roots uh, down here on this end and probably filling this with some more allium bulbs um, that I have. But I'll go ahead and fill that in as well. And let's see, over here... Uh, the frost took out the rest of this red amaranthus. So that is done for the year. It took out the agaratum, which is all right here. You can see all the frost damage. Took out, there's some basil, all that basil is done. So all that stuff's ready to come out. I'm not gonna pull it out right now. I'll probably pull it out later this week. 
do still have roses blooming. Definitely took out anything that was striling and left over over here on the wall display. Um, I will say, let me look over here. Actually haven't glanced over here. Parsley is still doing good. You can see the dahlias tucked in are done for the season over here. Surprisingly, this trailing lantana didn't get too bad damage from the freeze. So I'll leave that for now. I'm definitely gonna be doing this trailing lantana again. I just planted one little four inch plant right here over the side, did it over there. I'm gonna do it on the front of all these containers. I just, I loved it. It was quite the show, absolutely beautiful. I had to plant it really early on in March because they sell out so quickly and it really didn't come into its prime until about June. It really started doing stuff once everything heated up. But love that. Rest of these dahlias are done in here. And then the status is all doing real good right here. Um, been happy with that. Over here, my hollyhock, surprise, surprise, has rust fungus, which sucks. So in another video, I'm going to cut it all the way back and treat it. Same thing over here. Um, and we'll hope for it to come back next year. And then I'll really have to stay on top of it. With the rust fungus, it's just treating it with a fungicide. And I'll just have to be consistent with that. Hopefully I can do that. I really, really want these hollyhocks to fill this corner. I think it'll look really beautiful. I'll give it a couple of years. If I can't get it to bounce off the ground with this rust fungus, then I'll pull it out and try something else. All right, I'm really happy with how well the status is looking. I enjoyed the status flower this year. Oh, I got grass seed in here. And this sucker is really high up. Random. Okay, so we are going to be working on peony roots today. I have bare roots or basically like segments or pieces from peony plants. And I'm letting them soak for 30 minutes. I've got two varieties that I'm working with. This one is a pink Hawaiian coral peony from Brex. Um, I didn't think it was a giant size, but I didn't think it was too small either. I thought it looked pretty good. And then this one right here is a sorbet peony. And it was real good size right there. So these are all soakings. And then I'll show you how I'm going to plant them. Allium that I need to get planted. These are Schuberti Allium, and this was suggested by the Dallas Gardening School um, that as a good Allium to grow in our area. So they need to be in well-draining soil. So I actually think I'm going to plant them amongst the red romaine right here. And then when the spring comes and the Allium start growing and it gets too hot, this romaine will die back and the Allium will come up in its place. So I think I'm gonna tuck them right in there as well. And then I also have some allium that left over from all these and I've used them in some other projects already. So I think I have like 20 in here and what, like six in there. So I'm gonna plant those also throughout the rest of that garden. 
So I'm gonna plant them all throughout that area. And then at the very end where you see the back, uh, back of plantone is where I'm gonna put the peony roots. Okay, so now let's talk a second about what I'm planting and where. This is basically what I would call like a plant dump. I don't really know what to do with them right now. I have a couple of raised beds that are on back order that should have been here by now and then all of this would have gone in there and blah, 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 all this stuff. And all of that's not lining up right now. So I'm gonna put these into this bed. This was not my original intention. Most likely if these allium work out, they'll eventually get moved at some point after next season. And same with the peonies. If they end up doing well, they'll get moved as well to another location. For now, they're gonna go in this bed and that's what I'm gonna do with it for now. That's all, that's all I can do with them for right now. They need to get planted at this point in time and I don't have another solution for them right now. So this bed is now empty because of the cabbage worm issue. And so I thought, well, let's just go for it and get these in there. Okay, so this is the top of the bulb. This is the bottom of the bulb where all of the roots are. So we're gonna plant it this way, roots down, pointy point, pointy top, <laughs> pointy parts pointing up. And then we're gonna plant these six inches deep. These are nice size bulbs. Got these all from Brex. I'll throw up the name of them and the, um, and the price on them as well. Are my peony roots um okay so you can see these little eyes right here those are buds that want to come up they're obviously going up and so that's the direction i'm going to so i'm going to plant this whole root like this you want to make sure these little guys are about one to one and a half inches below the soil surface if you plant these too deep it will take longer for your peony to flower. And that is a common issue that people run into. So make sure that these are not planted too deep. If your peony has not, uh, has not flowered in several years, consider digging it up and moving it closer to the surface. That might work really, really well. Peonies like full sun. I am planting them here in this area for now. Most likely these are gonna get moved in the spring at some point. Um, this is full sun, but this is full Texas sun and which might be a little bit much for the peonies. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig a hole, 
plant these about one and a half to one to one and a half inches below the surface. I'm also going to fertilize them with my plant tone and then I'm going to water everything in really well. Okay, so those are some quick little gardening things I needed to get done today. We are at the end of the season. I'm not doing as much. Truthfully, my next few things are going to be cutting back any perennials um, that are looking real rough um, and adding compost throughout my garden and then being aware of the weather, keeping my eye out for freezing temps. I will be covering some things, um, just some things that I wanna keep more green throughout the season, but I will keep you guys updated on that as well. As always, she's a med gardener or a decorator or anything else that she wants to be. Thanks, y'all.